honestly, I think one of the most ugliest animals in the world is my giant ass pimple right here. Hello everyone, how are you? I am fantastic because I'm going to do a new list video. Top 10 something motherfucking shit, bitch. I'm excited. Honestly, these are like my favorite kind of videos to make. So if you enjoy them, please thumbs up the video because I enjoy making them. I love you. Okay. Today's list is top 10 ugliest animals in the world. And I was inspired to make this because I saw my dog Muffet. She's an ugly ass bitch and I love her so much. And so I thought, hey, why not make her feel like she's not alone by making a top 10 video for her. So this is for you Muffet, queen bitch Muffet. <laughs> Number 10 is the longhorn cowfish. Now this is a fish that is called a cow because of the horns. It has little horns sticking out like a cow does. It's a horny ass fish. <laughs> and like honestly, I feel like it's natural face expression is like this. But like, if it's called a cowfish, I wonder if we could milk her. Number nine is the naked mole rat. It's wrinkly, it's naked as fuck, it's got two big teeth. It looks like an old man dick with a face. I'm gonna just be honest, a lot of these animals coming up look like genitalia, so just heads up for that. Number eight is the horseshoe bat. Now, it looks like a normal bat, right? But then you look closely. <laughs> See what I mean about the genitalia? <laughs> Now, I mean, some people might find this bat beautiful, like straight guys or lesbians. People that are into the vajaja, zaza, hashtag vajaja zaza. But for me personally, it's ugly as fuck. Number seven is the Japanese giant salamander. This one had to be on the list because it looks like shit. It literally looks like shit. A giant shit. Shitted by a giant bitch. It's like Jesus was like, oh, I really have to take a shit. Let's just pretend it's a salamander, but it's actually my shit. Oh, Jesus, you're so sneaky up there. Number six is the Yeti crab. Now, this crab is like the gross, hairy sister of the other crabs. It has the arms of a very hairy 60-year-old man. But at least the hair is kind of white, so they don't have to bleach it. You know what I'm saying? Number five is the goblin shark. Now, the goblin shark lives in the deep sea, and it's very, very thick kind of prehistoric. Maybe they didn't have braces back then, <laughs> but damn. <laughs> Number four is the snub-nosed monkey. Now this monkey lived in LA. It was like, oh my gosh, I want to look plastic. I want my nose to be smaller, right? It went to a doctor, seemed like a good price, kind of cheap, right? That nose job just did not work out. <laughs> so this monkey got no nose, but it's okay. It, had, it still has the nostrils. It is kind of sad, but look at the bright side. When they're contouring their face, they don't even have to contour their nose because they got none. It's a time saver. Number three is the hagfish. This fish is like a dildo gone wrong. It's a long, wormy, snaky fish thingy. It looks kind of harmless, right? Oh no, look under it. It's got a full set of teeth. If I had to swim with a hundred sharks or this creature, I would swim with this creature. Let's be real, because a hundred sharks, you fucking kidding me? Fuck no. Number two is the blobfish. Now, I'm sure lots of y'all know about the blobfish. It's famous for being a fucking blob. It doesn't even have any fucking talent. The blobfish is disgusting. Like, no offense, but I fucking hate it. It can go extinct. Like, no offense, though. But it literally looks like phlegm. Number one actually literally terrifies me. They're called giant isopods. They're apparently some kind of giant crustacean. But honestly, let's be real, they're a giant underwater cockroach. They lived in our nightmares, and now they live in our oceans. Eyes of evilness, shells of hardness. Like a big dick. <laughs> Just kidding. That was my list of ugliest animals. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It actually really helps me out. So if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And you guys mean so much to me. And this series means so much to me. So I'm so happy I'm making it for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are below. I will see you guys next video. Oh, whoa, whoa. Giant ISO power. Where is you, bitch? <laughs>